this is a video to Die the Dublin. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a video I've been meaning to do for a while. Um, yeah, I'm 48 now, and I suppose um, that's about the age when a man or a person starts to sort of think, okay, what does all this mean? What does it mean to be me? Um, you know, your stereotypical midlife crisis, um, which needn't actually be a crisis, I think, if it's managed correctly or if it's, um, if you're lucky, I think there's a lot of luck involved, uh, it can be just another possibility of personal growth, and personal growth towards an actual resolution of certain things, as opposed to just personal growth for the sake of growing, which is a platitude that I really am not terribly fond of. Um, uh, same thing, um, I think that my life, when the whole story of my life gets written, I know that sounds melodramatic, but um, right after I've died, if I, or at the moment of death, if I look back and my life proverbially flashes before my eyes, <clears throat> it looks to me as though my life will actually have been improved by my bout with severe depression about 25 years ago. Um, now that sounds crazy, because in many ways, severe depression co coupled with anxiety and panic and all that kind of thing is pretty much the worst thing that can happen to you. Um, every moment of your experience is hell. But it taught me to question things and to question everything. And I seem to have gotten that crisis out of my life, which maybe everybody goes through or many people go through, at a stage where, you know, as you said, there was nowhere to go but up. Um, and I don't I can't imagine a circumstance under which I could fall that low again, no matter what happened to me. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's it's a strange sort of thing when hitting rock bottom uh, actually ends up, in a sense, improving one's life. Um, because even though it's not apparent at the time, it's hard to see the improvement of your life um, when somebody is holding your head underwater. Um, even though it may actually be improving your life, and that's what depression felt like for me. Um, now, you mentioned the fact that you may not have the same drive that you once had, and I think that that's true for me, too. Um, although, I thought about that as well. Why don't I have the same sort of, I don't know, virility-type drive that I had before? The... Um, the desire to conquer, or the the desire to go out there and make a mark, or the desire to um, fight battles, or that sort of drive, which I guess is kind of the hallmark of a young man. Um, and I think that this video may actually be kind of more of a male-oriented one, because I think that the the sort of life process of a male is markedly different from that of a of a female. But again, maybe not. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> now, why has this departed me, you know, left? Why have I lost that edge to my character? Um, well, I look at it this way, and this seems to be bearing out. It's not so much that I've lost the edge. It's that a certain degree of jadedness... Uh, has set in, whereby, you know, I've done the partying, I've done the uh, skirt chasing, I've done the, the wild life and the living life on the edge and that kind of thing. And it seems old. Now, that's kind of strange because, you you know, I think at my age, or the way that I'm looking at it, and I've spoken to a few of my friends about this, you look back on... Um, on what teenagers are doing, and I'm not the sort that actually is disgusted with teenagers. I was a nauseating teenager. Um, but you sort of look back on what they're doing, and you say, oh, that is so old and lame, what you're doing. 
But wait a minute, it's not old and lame for them. And you've got to understand that, you know, I was once like that and the world looked new to me at the time. And it's actually, I think, in a certain sense, it's a, it's an, it's a different kind of thirst and a different kind of need than when one is young. Because, you know, whooping it up as a young person is fun for 10 years, 20 years. After 20 years of it, well, okay, um, you get jaded by it. That kind of drive goes away, and I don't think it has anything to do with the fact that one's body slows down. Well, it may, I don't know, but um, <clears throat> I think it has at least as much to do with the fact that you've done all that. You don't want to spin your wheels forever trying to get more, I guess, satisfaction out of something that has kind of been worn out for you. It's, it's a state of of um, being somewhat, I guess, jaded, blasé about things that you've sort of done that. Um, you know, maybe that's why uh, some people who don't do that when they're young, when they get to my age, buy themselves a convertible and, um, you know, get a comb over and, you know, start going out to nightclubs and stuff like that, I have gone exactly the opposite. I, I'm not interested in doing anything like that or revisiting anything to do with my youth. I don't even like listening to the music that I used to listen to, which a lot of people seem to do at my age. They, uh, there's a reawakening of the music that they listen to as teenagers. Uh, that doesn't interest me in the least. In fact, it sort of brings back that sort of sense of jadedness. It's like, oh, I've done all that. Um, I've got a different kind of drive, I suppose, and that's trying to figure all of this out. What is life? And that's and, and to me, this may be some sort of midlife thing, I don't know, but it does not have an unpleasant feel to it. It's almost like a reawakening or a different kind of youth. All these things that just didn't interest me when I was young are suddenly fascinating. What's going on up in the sky? Like, after after the sky goes, like, you know, I always ask this question. I look up into infinity every day, every time I look up into the sky. Before, it was just that thing up there, the roof. Uh, but now that I'm older, I'm... Wow. And, and it sort of dawns on me just <laughs> what that is. Um, it's not, like, the, the, the things that sort of seem to move me are not as obvious as they used to be. Um, it's not, uh, it's just not the, you know, when, when I was younger, it seemed obvious what I wanted. I wanted the girls. I wanted, uh, the partying. I wanted life in the fast lane. I wanted to thumb my nose at the world. Um, I wanted to, you know, move fast, make a mark, that kind of thing. Whereas today, I'm quite happy in a state of anonymity, I guess. Um, you know, nobody really being terribly interested in what I do. Um, and I'm more interested in seeing life more or less as a spectator. And it's not simply because I've lost the interest to participate. It's just that it, it, life seems more mysterious than ever to me. Um, I was one of those young men that knew everything. Maybe one of those young men is all young men. I don't know. Um, but the older I get, the more I sort of take the opinion that I know nothing, less and less, as time goes by, and that sense of not knowing anything is not a negative for me, it's a sense of wonderment. All this newness in existence, um, and I don't know, maybe I'm lucky in that that's how midlife is affecting me. Um, I don't I don't, I'm not interested in the things that I was interested in when I was younger, but it's been replaced by other things. The drive is gone, but only the drive, the sort of powerful, aggressive drive that used to be there. Now it's more or less an extreme curiosity. Uh, rather than being pushed from behind, which is how one feels uh, as a young man, or how I felt, I'm sort of drawn towards things. I... I'm sort of fascinated. I feel like my own initiative is involved here. I'm less of a, uh, I guess, a puppet on strings, even though I didn't think I was a puppet on strings when I was younger. But I look back and, you know, maybe the hindsight is twenty twenty, or this is just a typical attitude of people my age. 
I look back on the young man in his 20s and, you know, I say, I do see a puppet on strings. Now I see somebody who has taken sort of his own initiative, even though my own initiative looks like a completely ordinary life. It's just a question, I guess, of, of where you put the emphasis. Are you in control? Are you living your life? Or is your life living you? Um, I certainly feel like I'm living my life, um, more so than I think I've ever felt, although memory is a faulty thing. But it does look to me as though, like you, I, I went through the crisis much earlier than most people do, and I seem so far to, to be spared the sort of nasty experience of late 40s, early 50s, or whatever age it's supposed to take place, I don't know, uh, where you question everything, and you question the very basic foundation of everything in your life. I'm doing all that, and those questions, uh, to me, are exciting. Um, it's fascinating. It's It seems like life is finally taking off. Um, and in ways that I would never have understood, it would be possible to describe as taking off. So maybe I do have more drive than I ever did, but my drive has simply taken a different form. Maybe uh, my expectations are, if anything, higher than they ever were. But what I expect is completely different than what I expected 25 years ago. That's my opinion. Thanks.